Thanks Genshin Impact for sponsoring this video. By now, there's one thing that is very clear to all of my audience. I love steaks. Expensive ones, cheap ones, it does not matter. However, in the holidays on Guga's house, we do not eat steaks. And we definitely don't eat turkey. This is what my family loves. It's called butter chicken. It is not only a delicious dish, but something my entire family loves. And today, we're going to be doing something that has never been done before. We're going to be making butter chicken even better. And that is to combine with the best protein in the world. This is the butter steak experience. So let's do it. Now this idea came to me when I was playing Genshin Impact. In the game, they have butter chicken. As you can see, this is what it looks like. However, we gotta gugify it. So let me show you my version of it. And everything starts off with chicken. Now notice that I'm using skinless chicken thighs. In the game, they use drums. But we all know that thighs are better than drums and for sure better than breast. Now the first thing I like to do is to go ahead and chop these up in small pieces. We're talking about one inch pieces. Chop them up just like this and they're now ready. Into a boy, throw everything in because we're gonna be marinating. If you are in a hurry, this extra extra step is not crucial, but if you're looking for the best of the best, this is what I recommend. So into the bowl with chicken, I threw in some garlic paste, followed by ginger paste, a little bit of Greek yogurt, cashmere chili powder, followed by salt, and mixed everything together. Now you want to let this marinate as much as possible, for at least one hour, but overnight, it's even better. Once the time is up, I went ahead and grabbed a skillet, threw in some avocado oil, and started to cook my chicken. Now we're not going to cook it all the way through right now, because remember, we're putting it back inside of the sauce, so just getting a nice color is the way to go. Usually takes about two to four minutes. Once it was done, I put it on a separate plate and reserve. As what I'm really looking for is this, the fun that is left on the bottom of the pan. Now to remove it, I went ahead and added a good amount of white onions. If your onions do not start sweating right away, you can always add a little bit of water to help it out. The bottom line is once done, your pan should be nice and clean just like this. Now whenever you're making this dish, you know you gotta use some butter. Because we all know butter makes everything better. Regardless if you're using in a game or in real life. Once the onions have have been sweated, I went ahead and added a good amount of tomatoes. Now keep this in mind, not all tomatoes are equal. I like to use vine tomatoes. And funny enough, so does the game. After about 5 minutes, I went ahead and added some cashew nuts. Mix everything together and let it simmer down. Now into the pot, I added more garlic paste, followed by ginger paste, malt vinegar, white granulated sugar, garam masala, and cashmere chili powder. On the recipe of the game, they do not specify. Now mix everything well and combine these ingredients together. If it's too thick, you can always add a little bit of water as the next thing to do is to go ahead and blend everything up. Using a hand blender makes the job super easy to do, but if you don't have one, you can always throw it in your blender. The next thing to do is to go ahead and strain it, then back into a new pan it goes, and of course we gotta add the special ingredient, more butter, followed by some heavy cream. I mean, this is butter chicken after all. And once everything has been incorporated, you are left with this, gravy for your butter chicken. This is so good that you can just drink it. Don't believe me? You just wait and see. As now, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and finish it up our butter chicken. For that, I threw my chicken right back in, mixed everything together, and now I fully cooked the chicken. Usually, this process takes about 5 minutes, because once it's done, the only thing left to do is to serve it up. And since this thing is so delicious, you want to be generous. Then, for presentation purposes, I like to add a little bit of heavy cream, followed by parsley. Now, this is my take on butter chicken, and I was reminded of this delicious dish all because I was playing one awesome game, Genshin Impact. People in the game prefer eating this dish with rice, which is exactly what I like to do. And we all know the best way to cook rice is to use a rice cooker, and it should be incredible to go along with our butter chicken. The funny thing is, when you eat butter chicken in the game, it increases all party members' strength, which is exactly how my family feels when we eat it. So thanks Genshin Impact for sponsoring today's video. Genshin Impact is an open world RPG game available on PC, Android, iOS, and PlayStation 4 and 5. This game is so beautiful, it has incredible breathtaking graphics, I love the combat in it, there are a ton of recipes to cook, which is my favorite part, and it's such a huge world you can really get lost. Genshin Impact just released their newest version 3.3, where you can get new challenges and missions to complete. There's also a new card game, introducing Genius Invocation TCG. It's brand new and everyone loves it. That's just another awesome thing this game has to offer. So thanks again Genshin Impact for sponsoring this video. Use my link down below to get Genshin Impact on your devices, and try out this food's effect for yourself, along with the new Genius Invocation TCG gameplay. 
And don't forget to use my gift code below. Because now it's time for us to make butter steak. And we can't do that without steaks. And for today, I chose these two beautiful New York strip. They are one and a half inches thick and just perfect for today's experiment. To season them, I kept it real simple. A little bit of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Now remember, with butter chicken, you must marinate it first. However, I'm not doing that with steaks. Instead, I decided to make this. It is a perfect butter basting sauce and it brings in the flavor. To make it, it's super easy. I first started with some melted butter followed by garlic paste, ginger paste, and a good amount of cashmere chili powder. Mix everything well and once everything has been fully combined, my butter basting is now ready. This is going to be perfect to go along with our steaks as I'll be basting it when I'm grilling. Now what you did not see before is that I saved a good amount of that gravy that we made previously for the butter steak. This thing is so good that you can even freeze it and have it several days later. It's just awesome. As now, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook these beautiful steaks. First, I'll be putting a nice beautiful sear. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And remember that I'll be basting with that wonderful butter. To finish it off, we'll add the gravy. Because now I say it is enough talking and it is time to grill some beautiful steaks. So let's do it. everybody here we have our beautiful feast today gentlemen are you guys hungry this looks good I, I, it this does looks really good. this is a feast for real make sure you guys go check out genshin impact on the link in the description down below there's a lot of things to like about that game highly recommend you checking it out and don't forget to use my gift code below as this is what butter chicken looks like in the game and here's my take on it hopefully the guys are gonna love it did you guys ever had butter chicken i am so glad you said that because i was about to say if that's what i think it is yes yeah, butter chicken. i've been dying to try it i've seen this recipe in your book and i haven't even tried it absolutely yes so this is like a butter chicken regular and this one is like a steak butter chicken i don't know how to well, say this one a, we said it on a video uh, is a google twist a google twist exactly i think it's the butter steak everybody that sounds freaking delicious because we are steak people yeah oh yeah have you ever had butter chicken before no i don't think so i don't think i've had it perfect wow. two butter chicken versions that's amazing <laughs> i don't like the sound of that bro i'm too old to be a virgin at this point <laughs> <laughs> all right enough talking let's give this a go obviously we got a little bit of rice i'll give you guys the regular butter chicken first so you can try it Woo! now i must say it is a little bit spicy okay wait wait guga spicy for us or spicy for you no it's spicy for guga <laughs> because you guys are not humans so spicy for guga i translate that to it's mild <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally facts <laughs> enough talking let's give it a go cheers everybody cheers cheers oh my god that is Phenomenal. First, when you take a bite, it's slightly sweet and it's not spicy. And then the spiciness come. Oh, this is nice. This is incredible, Google. I've never tried Indian food and I've always wanted to, but it's such a unique type of cuisine. The chicken is so saucy. The actual sauce itself has so much flavor. Like the chicken just melts away and you get all that flavor of the sauce. The spices completely coat your mouth and it just leaves like all your taste buds dancing. It's freaking awesome. It's so good. And I have to say, mild. <laughs> but it's still really good. I'm feeling it, everybody. <laughs> it's so savory, and then on top of the sweetness and the savoriness, it does have that little spiciness that comes through. It looks like you're even sweating a little bit, bro. I always sweat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate, bro. I, I gotta say, this is very tasty. It is incredible. Highly recommend, if you never had it, you have to try butter chicken, everybody. It is amazing. I would bathe in that sauce. <laughs> The wonderful thing about the sauce, also known as gravy, is that you can do ahead of time, everybody, and then you can just have it ready to go and then either fill it up with steak, chicken, or anything else you want to try. Because this is amazing, but I cannot wait to try it on a steak. Oh, I'm ready. Okay, enough. I'm ready. All right, let's I've been go. waiting on you. I know. Come over here, Andrew. Let me give you some of this. I have extra sauce right here. Oh, let me get more of that sauce. And I am going to bathe your steak on oh, the Leonardo's. Oh my God. Mm. Enough talking, let's give this a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 
Ah. What? Oh, good. That is so good. That is so much better. I'm actually shocked that it's better with the steak. It is so much better with the steak. There's no difference between both sauces. The only difference is one is a beautifully charcoal steak with a little bit of that basting butter that I use. And then I finished it off on the gravy, everybody. It is fantastic. I know we give chicken a hard time, but I have to be honest, you know, it is a, a little bit of a bland medium. But the difference between the two dishes is that the sauce is the main star of the traditional version and the chicken is very off to the side. But on this one, you have two main stars, the sauce and the steak, because you have that wonderful, delicious sauce, the amazing creaminess that comes with it, the flavor, the spice, and you have those beautiful steak flavors, that beefiness. And it's crazy to think that you can actually taste the charcoal through the sauce. It's absolutely incredible. Hands down, I think this has to be the better version. This was a fantastic W, everybody. Give it a go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.